three minutes each. You remember what he said? Without a piece of four, you still have Christianity. Yeah, let's debate. Uh, Muhammad, Muhammad, Tommy, let me check. Let's go. Okay. Don't call from Paul. Yeah. Go. So we're not quoting from Paul. According to his the challenges, uh, without Paul, we still have Christianity as we know today. So let me go from. Let me start with the book of Revelations. But before I come there, let me give you a bit of history. So Christians were first called Christians, and Muhammad will agree with this. Uh, first Christians were first called as Christians in Antioch as a derogatory term. They called them Christians. Uh, the the pagans called them Christians because they were following a dead man, and as a uh, as a way of ridiculing the, these people, they called them followers of Christ. You know, followers of a dead man, because we are Christians because we follow Christ. Because Jesus told us to take up your cross, and Jesus, in His own words in the Gospels, tell us to take us take up His own take up our own cross and follow Him. Therefore, if we follow Him, we are Christians, and therefore we have Christianity as we know even without appealing to Paul. So now, it, the question comes down to whether Jesus is God or not. And I would like to come continue with the same topic. Jesus says, I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and the end. I am the first and the last. If once is not enough, Jesus repeats it three times, saying the same thing in three different versions. Not in one place, but in multiple places in the Revelation, book of Revelation. Jesus says, I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and the end. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and the end. I am the first and the last. I would like to know which prophet of God has ever said that I am the Alpha and the Omega. Which prophet of God can ever have the guts to say that I am the first and the last, the beginning and the end? Which right. prophet of God has ever said that right. in history? Right. If he's a prophet of God. Okay, now that's not all. How do I know what Jesus said he meant? Is because in the book of Matthew alone, in the book of Matthew alone, again, I'm not appealing to Paul. Jesus accepted worship on more than 10 occasions. Not once, not twice. On more than 10 occasions, people came to Jesus and worshipped him. Who alone can be worshipped? Who alone can be worshipped other than God? Will any prophet of God allow you to worship? By contrast, by contrast, the disciples, when people bow down to the disciples, what did they say? They said, stand up, I am not a God. Jesus' disciples said, stand up, I'm not a God, but Jesus accepted worship. So I, I, on just these two things I can conclude, but there are other verses that I can say. But <laughs> Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega, Jesus accepted worship. Now, Lamed, I'm asking you, respond to that. Yes. So, Alhamdulillah, I mean, so what is happening now? I've got a heckler. We've debated twice. On this topic. He's calling me a heckler. So what is happening here? You see? Allow, allow me, can we no, no, be respectful? Can you be respectful? Come on, come on. Don't, okay. Let's wait, wait. not call each other names. Let, 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 let me talk. Let me, let me talk. You're heckling. Yeah. Let me know. No, you see, no, no, from the beginning. I didn't speak about you let, in let, any derogatory term. Let, let, let me talk. Please let, allow let, the let same respect. Let, let me talk. He, no, because if you're going to do this, that's not right. I was not heckling. I was not heckling. Okay, let me. I don't want you to run away. Sam, when Sam was talking on your side, that is okay. But you can call me a heckler. I don't like that. Because that's double standards. Okay, I don't want you to run away. That's not insult. That's not insult. So what is happening now? You see, he's going to the oneness of God. I've debated him twice. He said, without a piece of support, that is Christianity. Now he's going to oneness. Let me tell you. You see, your New Testament has 26 books from the book of Romans. 26. Look, I okay. said your book, the New Testament has 27 books. Proof me wrong now. I said 27. You just said 26. I said 27. I, I said 20. Look, I've, I've got to, okay, man. 27 books. Huh? From the book of Romans to the book of Philemon. Book of Romans, first Corinthians, second Corinthians, uh, Galatians, uh, uh, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, first Thessalonians, second Thessalonians, first Timothy, second Timothy, Titus, Philemon, and we give a book of Hebrew to Paul, 14 books. And when he have a crucifixion, that uh, Jesus is the Savior, it's Paul. You take what epistle from your, from the Bible, you're finished, no Christianity. Let's go what Paul said. That's what I said. That's why this book here, tell you, Paul is the founder of Christianity. You see, 
When you ask Christians, how do you attain salvation? It's very important. Everything about salvation. Want to know where you are, where you gonna go? They will go to Paul in the book of Romans, chapter number ten, verse number nine. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is the Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Who is that? Paul said that. Not Jesus. Without the abuse of Paul, of Paul, there's no Christianity. You read the Bible. Paul says in the first Corinthians, chapter number fifteen, chapter number fifteen. Verse number 14. Now, let me finish one. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse number 14. If Christ has in reason, if Christ has in reason, your pity is in vain and your faith is in vain. Who said that Paul? That is why we say you are following Paul, not Jesus. Paul for us says in First Corinthians again, chapter number 17. No, chapter number 15, verse number 17. That if Christ has in reason. Your faith is futile and you are still in your sins and you believe in it. So without the without the epistle for Paul, there is no Christianity. You read the Bible again. It is Paul who says in Galatians. It's the Paul who says in Galatians chapter number two. Yeah, time. Yes. I want you to prove to me without Paul. I said without you said without the epistle for Paul, you have Christianity. I said, no. Prove to me. You are going to the oneness of God. We, we've already debated about that. You and you had a two debate about the oneness of God. Prove to me without the, without a piece of a pole, there is Christianity. Because everything is revol revolved around crucifixion and resurrection. Go. Laman, you, took, you look well. Yeah, yeah, okay, come on, yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to take with Go. Did anybody hear Laman addressing the points that I raised? No. Nope. Did anybody hear it? No. Nope. I, I talking, clearly talking, talking, said talking. that followers of Christ are Christians yeah. and the Bible calls us to uh, at least Jesus tells us in the gospel to follow him yeah. that is why we are called Christians exactly. and when we follow Jesus you're you're saying that I'm appealing to the oneness of God I am saying that Jesus himself is God so it therefore I'm a Christian without even appealing to the books of Paul I don't need any of the books of Paul to say that Jesus is God right. why because I, I went to the book of Revelation I took only two verses Laman but if you want I can give you at least ten more I'm just right. now let me go back to those same two verses if you're having doubts then we go to the others now again let me go back to the book of Revelations and Jesus says well, I am the first and the last. Yeah. I am the Alpha and the Omega. Yeah. I am the beginning and the end. Right. Let's go to the book of Matthew right. where Jesus accepts worship. Now tell me which prophet of God I'm challenging you, Laman. Right. I will take my Shahada now. Right. If any prophet of God accepted worship, if any prophet of God said, right. I am the way, the truth, and the life, right. if any prophet right. of God says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, if any prophet of God says, I am the way, right. or if any prophet of God says, I I, I am the first and the last. I'm challenging you, Laman. I will take my Shahada now. Please tell me. If it is not God who said it, who is it who said it? And if we are acknowledging that Jesus is God and we follow Jesus, that is what makes us Christians because we follow Jesus. Thank you. Are you finished? He didn't hear a word you said. He who has the ear, no, 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 I've already, I've already discussed with you. Please, we're debating. Everybody, okay, you're right, you're, 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 we're debating. You, look, can you see the guy is disingenuous? Look, okay, 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 look. How do you attend salvation according to Jesus? How do you attend salvation? Without a piece of the pole, without the pole, how do you attend salvation? Because without, Paul said, Without, what, what, come on, come on, party, 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 please, party, uh, they're all describing. Yo, hey, yo, Look, okay, without the crucifixion or resurrection, how do you attain salvation? Tell me, without Paul's epistles, without the epistles of Paul, Paul is the one who came with the crucifixion or resurrection, but because of sin, because of sin of Adam and Eve, uh, book of Romans, in the book of Romans, chapter number 12, no, book of Romans, chapter number 5, verse number 12, why for us by one man sin entered into the world Adam. and death by sin and so death passed upon all men for that all have sinned right. and Paul Paul said in Romans 5 19 for us by one man's dis disobedience many were made sinners so according to Paul it's because of sin of Adam and Eve sin entered into the world and because of that God sent Jesus in the world to die on the cross for our sins so, you know so if you don't believe in that you are doomed yes yes but he said without Paul there is Christianity no, ask him. Do you not understand? No, 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 no
I'm cutting them now. Without a piece, a piece of a pole, you are finished. You are going to the oneness of God. I don't want to digress because I can go down and debunk that Jesus is not God. But I want to be sick. No, 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 don't digress. You said without the epistles of Paul, you have Christianity. Christianity is revolved around Paul. He's the father of Christianity. Because without crucifixion or resurrection, according to Paul, you are doomed. Now, according to Jesus, how do you attain salvation? Tell me. Good Paul, tell me. I want to know. You ask any Christian, he will tell you. Yeah. The only way you will be saved is to believe in the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And why do you find it? In the epistles of Paul. No, Jesus. Now, according to Jesus, how do you attain salvation? Tell me. Finish. According to Jesus. Yeah. Okay. You see, no, I want you to know because you're wasting my time. You're, you're going, you challenge me without the epistles of Paul. You have Christianity. When Christianity is in the world. No, go. Show me. Go now, wait it. Going to the oneness of God. Okay. Oneness okay. of God. That's, so, that's what, that's what I feel. To... Go, go. Can let's... I, can I... Go, I'll give you a fit, fit my time. Go. Okay. So Matthew chapter 26, verse number 28. Yes. Let me read it for you. But this is my blood. This is who's talking? Yeah. Jesus talking, yeah, yeah. right? Okay. But this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. For the remission of sins. Who's talking? Jesus. Is this Paul? No. L listen. L listen. He's not even listen. listen. Without the shedding of blood. L listen. listen. No, no, no. Wait, wait, without the wait, shedding of blood. Wait, wait, wait. Without the shedding wait, of wait, blood. Wait, wait, There is wait, no permission. Wait, wait, wait. Laman, it's my turn. Wait. Laman, it's my turn. Laman, it's my turn. Laman, it's my turn. Laman, we're talking. Laman, it's my turn. Allow me. Turn. Allow me. Turn. Look, look, look. We have continued. Could you ask him to keep quiet? Um, no, please. No, ask him. No, we, we, we haven't finished it. Ask him to wait. Ask him to calm down. Okay. Because it's not calm down. Calm down. I'm calm. I'm very calm. But look, we have, we have a debate. We are having a debate. Yeah, please. I'm not please. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, okay. please. Please. Uh, the book of Isaiah. No, 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 no. Go, go. go. I'll debunk it. I'm ready to debunk it. I think you need to. No, I said I'll debunk it. Wait, go. Ask him to keep quiet. I'm going. I finished with you. Let me do uh, wait, but we're debating. Child, you be lying to Satan. He's wasting our time. But it's not going to productive. Ask him to be quiet. No, no, talk to him first. Talk to him. He's three minutes. I mean, uh, come on, man. We are debating. You are. Can I start? Go, go, go. So Jesus clearly says that his purpose was to shed his blood for the remission of sins. For the remission of sins for who? Not only the Jewish people, of all mankind. That is why Jesus has come down very clearly. I quoted from the Bible. Now listen. He Baba. said, I should not quote Paul. Up to now, I'm not even appealing to Paul. But whatever argument he's made, whether it is a shedding of blood for the remission of sins. Wait, wait, wait. From Matthew, we see Jesus' own words. That Jesus said that he is shedding his blood for the remission of sins of mankind. Who said it? Jesus said it. Go, go, go. Now, if you go to Isaiah, the book of Isaiah chapter 56, I, I, I can't get it now. But it says, by his by his stripes, we have been healed. By Can, can you just take that from me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Isaiah 53. Uh, the book of Isaiah finish, finish. It talks about yes, the promise of what Jesus is coming to fulfill. It is by his stripes that we have been healed, by his blood we have been cleansed. That's what the book of Isaiah says. Again, no appeal to Paul. But what you said, you said without blood there's no remission of sins. Was Paul's invention? No, it is not. It, I'm, take, I'm it, showing it to you. I am showing it to you why, outside of the Bible. Okay, now, address. You didn't address the first two verses. What, what? Hold on, Lamin. It's my turn. You didn't address Alpha and Omega. You didn't address Jesus accepting worship. You do, now I'm asking you, address look, this, look, which look, I'm giving listen, to you now. Look, that look, Jesus shed. Sorry, okay. it's Lamin. It's my turn. Okay, go, go. Please. It's my turn. Go, go. Uh, now address this. Uh, right, Jesus right, himself right, said. Right, right, look. look, 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 look. Look, I'm going to address every point you made. You know, it was not the oneness of God. Lamin, it's my turn. It's my turn. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, for we have esteemed him sick, stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Who is saying this? He was wounded by our transgressions. Isaiah is saying this. Time is up. Just give me a few seconds more. I will not take two minutes more like he did. No, no, no. Who is saying this? Isaiah is saying this 800 years before Jesus. He gives a prophecy of the remission of sins through no, the no, blood no. of Jesus. Right. Jesus no. comes in, confirms it in Matthew no, no. 26, when he says, this is my blood which is shed for the remission of sins. Now, 
Lama didn't agree, didn't, didn't address what I said last time. I'm asking Lama to address what I'm saying this time. Wait, 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 no, wait, 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 uh, okay, wait, 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 no, let me, let me, don't digress, we're debating. Yeah, we're debating, wait, KGB, look, 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 look. Look, you we're debating. Okay, okay. okay. No, okay. No, 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 we debate you. Sorry. By the way, got that. Look, look. I'm going to address his points here. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, look. You're right. going to. I'm. 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 I'm oh, okay. You okay. carry on. You carry on. Yeah, we're going to stop it on the sign. Yeah, disturb it. Yo, look. Move that. Look. Look. I said. I still stand. My ground. That without the epistles of Paul, there is no Christianity. It's simple. In fact, I'm going to go now. I'm going to go finish. I'm going to no, okay, go. No, no, I'm going. I'm going. I'm telling him to calm down. No. No. I mean, if they're on the side, they're heckling. I'm like, hey, you are talking, you didn't heckle. Okay. I'm like, hey, can you see, bro? bro? You calm guys down, are disgraceful. I'm going to go. That's it. The, the, the debate is okay, finished. Okay, continue. No, stop, stop. I can't believe it. I'm debating. The Muslims are here, they're heckling. These two are there heckling. You let me talk. Continue. Huh? Look, as I said, the New Testament has 27 books. Paul wrote half of it. When you hear about crucifixion or resurrection, it's Paul. You understand? And when you look at Paul's writings, were the first Christian writings. Paul was the one who penned his epistles before Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I'm sorry, you agree with me? Yeah, you, you, yeah. You, you understand? Your time. So, crucifixion or resurrection. Oh, yeah. That the only way you're going to be saved is through Jesus Christ is all from Paul. And all the other gospel, gospel writers took their ideas from Paul's epistles. Paul said in the book of uh, in Galatians, chapter number 2, verse number 16, he said, Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by, by the faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Paul for us. It is a Paul. That's what that's why the Christians of today are not following the law. When I ask them, the, I'm talking, man, shut up. This guy, he can't shut up, man. What wait, wait. That is why the Christians today, when you ask them, they say they will tell you they live in a new covenant. The grace. Uh, they don't follow the law. Why? They got it from Paul, not Jesus. That is why I'm up there, Paul. I'm talking. That's why I call the Paul in Christianity. Paul said, uh, the, everything's from Paul. Paul said in uh, in the book of Romans, chapter number 10, verse number 4, that Christ is the end of the law. So that there may be righteousness for everybody. Paul says that, Paul. When you go to uh, even circumcision, Paul said they shouldn't be circumcised. But that's why we said that you are following Paul in Christianity. Paul is the one who is the inventor of Christianity. In fact, when you go to salvation, as I said, a man came to Jesus Christ. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 19, verse number 16 to 17, he said, Good master, what good things shall I do that I, that I may have eternal life, that I may go to heaven? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? There is no good but one, which is God. Here, Jesus make a distinction between him and Almighty God. Why do you call me good? If Jesus was God, he would have said it. But why do you call me good? There is none good but one, which is God. If you want to enter life, if you want to go to heaven, obey the commandments. But they don't follow the commandments, Christians, because of Paul. So you take a piece of Paul away, you are finished, you are done with. You understand? So you also quote it. Let me go. You quote it. Let me, let me finish. Let, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. So he quoted a uh, book of Revelation because he said, I have at this point. He said, he said, Dan, Dan, go, go. Okay. So, Laman, again, go. The, the points that I raised were never addressed. Laman initially said that Paul invented Christianity. I showed him Christianity uh -huh. does not require, uh, requ require Paul at all for being called a Christian, number one. The second no, no, one, no, 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 acknowledging no. Jesus as God, following Amen. Jesus. We do not require the book of Paul for uh, any of the books of Paul for saying these things. Then, after that, well, the next point that, Paul, uh, that he raised again about Paul, he raised two points here. One was that he says Jesus alone. In, in Jesus alone we have salvation, right? That's one of the points that you raised. I did, I did, now let I, me. I did, what I raised? 
What did I say? Oh, you, you said that, that, no, no, that the, the Bible, I quote the Bible. It is only through Jesus that we are saved. No, no, no. I, quote, I didn't say that. I quote the Bible. Okay. Have you told the Bible? Matthew 19, 16 to 17. So Can I repeat it? I didn't say that. You know, you're talking about Paul. But no, no. We talking, no. We are talking about but, Paul but what and you, Paul instituting Christianity. You said that Paul, you, you, said, Paul said Jesus is the only way. Right? That's what you said. Didn't you say that? What, 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 what did I quote here? Are you listening? What verse? I know the verse you quote. Right, because I don't know you said, which verse you quote. But, but I'm joking. You're not listening. You quote the Alpha and Omega. You quote the other verse. Where you oh, said, hold, on, hold on, hold on. I can remember them. Now I'm talking. I don't remember so them. Now you're what saying, did I say? So you now, are lying on me now. What did I say? Now you're saying what did that I Jesus said, Paul said that Jesus is the only way. That's uh, what you uh, said. Uh, what, did, what, what verse did I quote? I, I'm not, I, I don't remember because you I said, said, said when you hear about so crucifixion or resurrection, it's Jesus Christ. I quoted yeah. Romans 10 at 9. Yeah. When Paul said, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is the Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Exactly. Yeah. 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 When you hear about okay. crucifixion or resurrection. No, it's my turn. It's my turn. I'm sorry. Okay. Can you restart? Yeah. yeah. So it's my turn. Right? But, but so you if you confess me. with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, then you will be saved, right? And will believe with all your heart, you will be saved. No, That's no. what Paul says. He didn't finish it. Okay. Finish the verse. No. no. Uh, I, know, I know the verse. No, no, no. You, you, no, 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 no. Let no. me show you no. outside. No. I don't need that verse. No. I don't no. need that verse. verse. I don't but need that verse. Because it is through the word. But all of it first. No. But he didn't quote it. No, no. Let me read. No, quote the whole verse. Please. But quote the whole verse. Now when it is my turn to speak. My turn to speak. I am not going to appeal to Paul. Therefore, I am not going to take that verse. But let me show you go, go. that the thief on the cross okay, go. he was saved because Jesus said today you will be with me in paradise how did that thief enter the enter paradise it is only because he believed in Jesus because he acknowledged Jesus as a sinless man he believed Jesus therefore he entered paradise because of Jesus therefore I can say that the only way to God or the only way to salvation is through Jesus through the word of God very clearly now Paul says he talks about circumcision he talks about Christians not keeping the law let me tell you very clearly that Jesus came to institute a new covenant. Jesus came to institute a new covenant. Brother, you have to give me more time because he spoke in between. No, you, you Jesus spoke in between. Came, I, I didn't have any time. Go, go, go. Jesus came to institute a new covenant. What is the meaning of covenant, Laman, if I should ask you? Well, let me tell him. Let me give him an education. The new covenant means he, Jesus, God gives us his promise and in turn he tells us to keep some laws. So Jesus came to institute a new covenant which again was prophesied in the book of Isaiah. Jesus fulfilled it saying that I bring in a new covenant which means a new teaching, a new law. We do not follow the old law. We don't need to follow it because Jesus brought a new covenant. Lamin, if you do not know Christianity, please don't debunk our religion like this. You need to know something to debunk our religion. You can't talk some nonsense and say that you know we have to follow the law now regarding circumcision very interesting I let me challenge Lamin and ask him why are Muslims circumcised why are Muslims circumcised because it was only given to the children of the of Abraham why are Muslims circumcised if they're not the children of Abraham and why should I become circumcised when I'm not the child of Abraham that law was not for me it was only for the children of Abraham, not for you, not for me. I'm sorry, Laman. Muslims are clueless as to why they have circumcision. Muhammad himself was not circumcised, and you are circumcised. So I, I beg to differ. Muhammad himself didn't follow the law that you want to follow. You know, Thank you. Yeah. listen to me. He doesn't even know the covenant of circumcision. You see, how I, I wish you people would take your time and read your Bible. He, circumcision. Let's talk about that. That's Paul. You are following Paul. He says he's not circumcised because of Paul. Because Paul is the one who abolished the law of Moses. Let me finish it. It's my turn. That is why he was badly beaten by the Jews for his anti Torah teachings. I'll come to that. Now let's go to circumcision. Now I said, that's what I said. You are following Paul. Now <clears throat> let's go to the Old Testament and see what God said about the everlasting covenant and we'll come to the new testament if you read the bible it is mentioned in the book of genesis chapter number 17 verses number 10 to 12. genesis 17 10 to 12. it says 10 says god said this is this is my covenant with you this is my covenant with you 
the covenant, your the covenant, this is my covenant with you, and your descendants after you, the covenant you are to keep. Every male among you shall be circumcised. Verse number 11. You shall undergo circumcision. And you, it will be the sign of the covenant between me and you. Finally, verse number 12 says that for the generations to come, every male among you who is eight days old shall be circumcised. Everlasting covenant. You see, that is what the Jews today. The Jews today, when you ask them, they are all circumcised. And in Quran, we, the Muslims, it's a sunnah to be circumcised. Now, let's go to the uh, New Testament now. I see it, circumcision is there. If you read the Bible, it is mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter 7, verse number 22. He said, Moses gave you the covenant of circumcision in the book of Acts, chapter number uh, 7, verse number 8. It said, Abraham, God gave Abraham the covenant of circumcision. And Abraham, and so Abraham became the father of Isaac and circumcised him on the eighth day. And Isaac became the father of Jacob and the Jacob of the 12 patriarchs. Furthermore, in the Bible, it's, it's not, it's not yet. Furthermore, one minute. Furthermore, in the Bible, it is mentioned. Can, can you show it? It's, no, it's coming, it's coming. It's, uh, even Jesus was circumcised. This is mentioned in the book, in the Gospel of Luke. Gospel of Luke, chapter number two, verse number 21. Is that at the end of eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Even Jesus was circumcised. And I'll, I'll go to the Paul. Paul said, circumcision is of the heart. That is why they are not circumcised. I'm going to quote that verse because it's his time now to show you that he, the, the reason why he's not circumcised is because of Paul. Now there, you see now. Yeah. Okay, so he was clearly now talking on, the, on, the, on circumcision again. Let me go back to the, the, the verse that he quoted, okay, from Genesis 17. He read to you from from verse 8, right? I did, I did. Oh, sorry, you read from verse 11. However, Pastor, Laman, oh, as usual, 10, uh, he read from verse 10. Read. Laman, as usual, quotes the verse out of context. What is the context? Go back two verses. Go back to, to verse 8. Okay, and I'm going to read to you verse 8. This is what God is saying. Now, remember what we said. A covenant is what? God gives a promise. And he says, you have to keep these laws. So now let's go to the promise. And then you will understand why circumcision for Muslims doesn't make sense. Okay, and for Christians doesn't make sense. Okay, now I'll read for you what verse number eight. I will give you now the Lord God Almighty. The true God, the creator is speaking, not Allah, the Muslim God. I will give you the whole land of Canaan, the land where you are now residing, to you and to your descendants. God is telling Abraham, I will give this land to you and your descendants as a possession and I will be your God. Then God said to Abraham, as for you, you must keep my my covenant requirement. I'm imposing on you and your generations throughout. And then he gives them circumcision. So what was the circumcision <laughs> for? I will give you the land of Israel. You will be circumcised for all eternity. That is for all of your generations, Abraham, you and your descendants. If you want the nation of Israel, you shall be circumcised. Why are you circumcised, Laman? Why wasn't Muhammad circumcised? Why are you circumcised? Can you give me an answer from the Quran? Now again, please notice, I never appeal to any of the books of Paul because I don't need Paul to show me this. I don't need it because who was it speaking to? Clearly, the Lord was saying to Abraham, it is a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Abraham, I will give you and your descendants this land for all your generations, but your generations need to be circumcised. My question to you, Laman, and I challenge you, tell me from the Quran, why are you circumcised? And tell me from the Quran, why Muhammad was not circumcised? It is. Done. I'm okay. Your turn. You see, you see, the man is failing miserably. Let me, let, I'm, talking, I'm not, talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking now. You see, I don't, I don't think he knows what Paul says about circumcision. We're talking about circumcision. I'm not talking about Paul. No, 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 I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, no, no, I'm talking. I know, I'm talking about, I said, Paul is the father of Christianity. That's why I said, I said, you're not circumcised because of, I'm talking, because, I'm talking, see. What can you see? It's only the Christians that are happy, see. 
Allow me to get this back. Stop, 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 the court is the one who who can abolish the law, and he agree with me. I don't know where. Do you know what Paul said about circumcision? That's why you're not circumcised. No Jesus, because Jesus. Why is that Jesus was circumcised? You are not. And you say you're following Jesus. Paul is the one who said in the book of Romans. It's a large quote. They cannot quote in the book of Romans, chapter number two, verse number twenty-nine. He said. He is a Jew, Romans 2.29. He is a Jew, which is one inwardly. He is a Jew, which is one inwardly. And circumcision is that of the heart. In the spirit and not in the letter. Every Christian will agree with me. Ask them, why not circumcised? They're going to Paul. For the more Paul, who said in Galatians, chapter number 5, verse number 2. Galatians 5.2. He said, he said, I Paul, I Paul said to you, if you let yourselves be circumcised, Christ will be of no value to you at all. Why did Christ say in the Bible? When Jesus said he didn't come to abolish the law. Matthew, Matthew uh, 5. Paul said, declare 17 to 19 that he did not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill them. Paul says, Brother, you are fallen Paul. You are you are ashamed to admit it. Without a piece of Paul, you are finished. You are finished. You talk, show me in the Bible why Jesus said that. If you let yourself be circumcised, you are finished. Then you are not my follower. Paul, Paul says it. I Paul said to you that if you let yourself be circumcised, Christ will be of no value to you at all. Is Paul you are following? No, Jesus. Jesus was circumcised. Circumcision is an everlasting covenant. We, Abraham, is the part, is the part, part of religion. You are not agree with that. We are following his examples. We, the Muslim, is in Sunnah for every male to be circumcised. Every Jew, the same thing. You are not. Why? Because you are following Paul. Show me the verse where Jesus said anything about abolishing the law or you shouldn't be circumcised. That is why we are saying that this man here is the founder of Christianity. 27 books he wrote. 10, 10. 13 books of the New Testament minute, is attributed to Paul. So you are feeling miserable now. Minute, oh God, you can't. Yeah. There you go. Again, I'm asking, like I asked before, did anybody here, here now, man, addressing any of the points that I raised? What, what point? Did anybody? What point? The points that I raised is why? Show me according to the Quran why should a Muslim be circumcised? No, no, it was not because he does not know. He has but, to come to Abraham, and if you look at Abraham and the context which he missed out, willfully he has not either. He I do not know whether he willfully did it or he is not aware of it. The covenant is a promise and a law. So God gives you a promise, and you have to keep a law. The promise was that the land of Canaan will be given to Abraham and his descendants. That land is not for me. I don't have to keep that, uh, to, to keep circumcision. Because God said, I will give you this land. However, keep your, you and your descendants have to be circumcised. Is that clear to everyone? I'm, I'm very clear. And the Bible is very clear. Please read it for yourselves. The Bible is clear. I do not have to, uh, I, that land doesn't belong to me. I don't have to be circumcised. I'm asking you, Laman, again, according to the Quran, why do you have to be circumcised? And again, I'm saying, according to the Quran or the Hadith, why wasn't Muhammad circumcised? Muhammad was not circumcised because he's one like us. The land of Israel doesn't belong to him. It doesn't belong to you. It belongs to the ones of the circumcision. But you do not know why you're being circumcised. You're blindly doing it. And you're telling me that even I have to do it. And you're blaming Paul. Paul has nothing to do with this. This is in the book of Genesis. Sorry, it's my turn. This is in the book of Genesis that God says it is for Abraham and his descendants for the people who inherit the land. I'm sorry, that doesn't apply to me. I'm not a descendant of Abraham. Neither do I want the land of Israel. I'm happy where I am. Okay, now you addressed another point. 
very quickly went to another point and he said, show me where Jesus abolished the law. No, I cannot show that to you, but I can show you where Jesus instituted a new covenant. Again, you are Muslims are not aware of this covenant relationship. We have an old covenant and we have a new covenant. We have old covenant where which was given by Moses to the children of Israel. We don't come under the old covenant. We come under the new covenant, which is listed in the New Testament because Jesus instituted this new covenant by his blood. And therefore, we do not come under the law. I don't need Paul to tell me that because the old covenant is fulfilled and done with. I come under the new covenant, which was instituted by Jesus. Now, Jesus in Matthew 28, he says, Go therefore, make disciples of all nations, teaching them to do all things that I commanded you. What, what? According to the new covenant. What? Right? So therefore, Raman, I'm sorry to tell you that without Paul, I still have my Christianity. You are debunked because there is no, up to now, there's not even one teaching that you showed me that I can justify from another book. Thank you. No, no, no. The man, the man, you see, he does. Thank you. He does. Show me one teaching. Show me one teaching. I'm not okay. I'm talking now. He doesn't want to admit that he's for and Paul. Now he's quoting the Great Commission. He doesn't even know where he's quoting from. Jesus was so sent to you. No, let me tell you. I get the reference. No, 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 Great Commission quote from. Jesus said, go and, go and make disciples of all nations. Ah. He didn't quote it. I'll put it in the context to you. Yeah. Because you haven't studied your Bible. Yeah. Wait, Jesus uh, was sent to the Jews. Mm. He was not a Christian. He wasn't sent to you. And he made it emphatic if Jesus Let's say Jesus came to die. Let's say we Muslims, Quran say Omar Katalu, Omar Katalu, they kill him. No Christian, he did not die. Let's say he came to die, die. He would have come to die for the sins of the Jews. No, you, you are no, you're not a Jew. Jesus Himself made it clear in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number fifteen, verse number twenty-four. I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And in Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 10, verse number 5 to 7, he instructed his disciples not to go to the Gentiles. He said, go and preach to the children of Israel. Go nowhere to, among the Gentiles. And enter no town of the Samaritans. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. There is nowhere in the Bible here where Jesus said he was sent to the Gentiles. Now he quoted a verse here he doesn't know. I'm going to put it in the context. I'm going to give you Bible lessons. He quoted from the Great Commission. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 28, verse number 19 to 20. They always said, Christians will always use this. When Muslims said, quoted uh, Matthew 15, 24, they said, no. But after he instructed disciples to go and preach to all nations, yes. Great Commission. Yes. Let's put in the context, because you don't know this verse. This, this verse said, he said, therefore, Matthew, 28 19. Therefore, go and make disciples. Of, therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I'm asking you if that is the case. If Jesus did indeed instruct his disciples to go and baptize all nations in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, why did they not do so in the book of Acts, chapter number 2? Verse number 37 in the book of Acts, chapter number 8, verse number 16 in the book of Acts, chapter number 10, verse number 48 in the book of Acts, chapter number 19, verse number 5. Instead, they baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Did they forget? I'm asking why. Because if you read, let me let me quote them. Give you what, what, what let me quote them. I, I quote them. Acts 2 37. Wait, Acts 2 37. Abanta. No, I'm going to quote this because I want to put this great commission into context. Yeah, because the disciples uh, did not follow the commands of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Baptize all nations in the name of the Father and of the Word and the Holy Ghost. What would they do instead? They baptized only in the name of Jesus Christ. Why? I'm going to go and quote these verses now. Go. Give your Bible lessons. Go. Yeah, okay. Go. Sure. Yeah. So, Laman is uh, again, we went off topic this time because we went, the, we went completely off topic. We had, the topic was about, 
You could have it. Don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Acts chapter 2, which one did you say? Acts chapter 2? Yeah, okay. So, what I'm saying. Acts 2 37. Bible, let's go. Acts 2 37. Uh, yeah. yeah. Why did they not baptize? Great commission. And okay. some scholars said it's a fabrication. No, please pause. We finished. All, I think all of them are quoted four, four, four verses. Yeah. Okay. Oh, go, go. Okay, start. Right. Okay. So Laman again went off topic. We were talking about Paul and mean. Paul instituted Christianity. Again, he's yet to give me some uh, teaching. Laman, please don't disturb. I did I was quiet, Laman. Please do the same. Uh, he's yet to give me some teaching which Paul gave, which is not in the Bible, which is not in the other books. And everything that he gave me, I was able to show him, whether it be circumcision, whether it be the deity of Christ, whether it be Jesus being worshipped, whatever it is, it is in the other books as well. I don't need Paul for Christianity. Paul just gave some more instructions, made things more clear, put things into context and gave the Old Testament context behind it. That's all Paul did. But Paul didn't invent Christianity. There was nothing new. Now let me come to this Great Commission again. Now listen again, he will run off topic, but because Laman went there, I'm going there. The Great Commission. He said Jesus was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. Yes, he was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. Yes, Jesus went only to the Jews preaching because that was his commission. But after he finished, and let me also say this, Jesus didn't only go to the Jews, he did go to a Samaritan woman, the very second person that he spoke to when he started his ministry, according to the book of John, is a Samaritan woman. He spoke to the entire village, in fact, not just a woman, he spoke to the entire village. But that doesn't dispute the fact that he was only sent to the Jews. And when he finished his work on earth, that's when he commissioned his disciples. Before that, he made another point, very important point. He sent his disciples out. He sent his disciples only to the children of Israel. He told them not to go to anywhere else. Why? Because Jesus is coming only to the lost sheep of Israel. He sent his disciples before him to make the announcement that Jesus is coming. That's what people do when a king is coming. They would go in the Old Testament. They would go ahead of the king and announce his coming and announce the presence, his presence and the purpose of his visit. And that's what they did. At the end of his ministry, before Jesus can depart, Jesus said, that he told the disciples very clearly go into all nations not to the lost sheep of israel go to all nations baptizing the people in the name of the father son and the holy spirit one important instruction which he missed out which he usually does telling them to obey all the commandments yeah. that i yeah. taught you that i gave you in other words new covenant let me address that yeah, I, I didn't have time for this. He said the man is he's failing miserably. Okay, you can see. You can see you are running away. You're going, yeah. Look, first of all, you ran away from first the topic. Of, first of all, what yeah, is the topic? For, let me, let me, you're, you're, you're talking now. You're talking now. Okay. But, my, my, but yeah. you spoke no, as no, well, okay, right? Yeah. No, I'm talking, I'm talking now. You, you spoke as well. You, no, okay, okay, stop it. Stop it. You asked me and I, I stopped. No, no, you, you, what is the topic? Okay. Yeah, you can stop. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. I'm happy no, no, to no, go let off me, Let me talk. I'm happy to go off No, let me talk. And admit that he's scared now. He's scared. Now come to that. I am happy no, to wait, talk wait. off topic. Wait, wait, yeah. I am happy to talk off topic. Look, but then I'm, admit I'm not, I'm not the burden in the you, are you scared? Are you scared? Admit you're wrong. Are you scared? Admit you're wrong. We'll go off topic. No, no, no. You're admit scared. You're scared. I want to go to the bus. The great commission. Admit you're wrong. He's scared now. Admit you're wrong. No, it's my turn. I will go off it's topic. Who went off topic? No pause. No, no, no. You're not. Who went off topic? He's scared now. He's scared. Camera, He's everybody knows. Now. You went off topic. No, don't let me talk. You went off topic. You're you not speaking. It's my turn. See? What's I the topic, believe Lame? This man asked me. What is the topic? Don't talk, Lame. Is it just for me to ask him what's the no. topic? Okay, okay, let me, let me. Because he's okay. going to another topic. No, let me finish. What was the topic? <laughs> He's Paul invented okay, Christianity. Let me, okay, let me finish. He's going to break Christianity. Okay, let me, let me finish. Let me. Yeah. Let, Come back to the topic. Look, look. I'm happy to go to. Okay, let, let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. I'm happy to go off topic. Why are you scared? But please, he's scared. Admit. That Paul didn't no, no, you're scared, he's scared. And look, 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 and go back no, to another. Look, 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 you came of the great commission. Stop. Listen to me. Stop. That is Stop. why. Look, I did not digress. You said that Jesus sent his disciples to all nations, and I said I'm going to address that. That I was addressing it. I did. I didn't quote the great commission. He quoted it. So why are you lying? That I'm shifting. I'm. I'm. I'm digressing. You quoted it, and I put it into context. I didn't quote it. So stop lying. I never quoted it. You quoted it. I put it into context. And now, you know, you, you didn't quote it properly. You see, the first, listen to me. You go to verse number 20, where I said, go and tell them to observe everything I, I taught you. 
Every, anyone can read it. Matthew. This is a great commission. So I don't want to go anywhere to address this first. Matthew 28, 19. Yeah? What did he say? Read and see. Read it. Read it first. Crafty. They are crafty. No, no, no. It's not your, it's not your business. No, it's not your business now. You know, no. The Muslims are, no. You know, if you want to defend it, they leave it. Yeah? So, as I said, if that was, if Jesus did indeed command his apostles to baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Ghost Spirit, why is it that in the, in the book of Acts, they didn't do it? Show me a single verse. Why the apostles baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy, the Holy Ghost. It's not there. Instead, I said, they baptized in the name of Jesus Christ only. Let me quote the verse to you. In the book of Acts, chapter number 2, verse number 30, it says that Peter answered. He said, uh, he said, all of you, I said, all of you, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Not the Father, the Word, the Holy Ghost. Furthermore, Paul said, furthermore, in the book of Acts, chapter number 2, no, book of Acts, chapter number 8, verse number 16, he said that because the Holy Spirit had not come on them yet, they were simply baptized in the name of Lord Jesus, not the Father, not the Son, not the Holy Ghost. Why? Furthermore, in your Bible, in the book of Acts, chapter number 10, verse number 48, it says that, he commanded that they be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Why the disciples not carry out, carry out the command? The Great Commission. Had they forgotten? The onus on you. Why? Because it's the Great Commission. Go and baptize all nations in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Ghost. Why? And one more in the book of Acts, chapter 19, verse number 5. He said, on hearing this, they were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Why? Address that. The disciples, did they forget? I I'm going to profit my time. Address this and we can go back to our, our original topic where I said that Paul is the founder of Christianity. Address this because he came up with this. The Great Commission. I said Jesus was sent to the Jews. Matthew 15, 24. Not to you. And he said, yeah, he was in the beginning. But later on, he sent them to all nations. Matthew, you quoted Matthew, what? 28, 19. You've gone way beyond. No, no, I'll let 10 minutes, I'll give you. Put in the context. I don't need 10 minutes. No, no okay, no, go, go, go. I want to know. The disciple, Great Commission, did they forget? Lama, go. That's enough. Lama, go. Stop. Go, go. Okay. Did you hear him, his previous, at the, at the three minute mark, did you hear what he said? He said, that is why I went off topic. But did you hear what he started out with? He's called me a liar for saying that he went off topic. Now you know who's a liar. Please go to the beginning of his speech and see, when I said he went off topic, he started his speech by calling me a liar. Remember, Lamin, I told you, don't call each other names. Yes, this is not good. If you want to win a debate, if you're insecure, go to somebody else go, go, go. and call them names. Stop, stop, no, go. Don't call me no, a name. No, come, come, Don't call go. me a name. But if you want to Seven win times. debates by ridiculing people, he's, by putting them he, down, he's being I am not your dimmy. I hope I am. He never no, exposed. you're a liar now <laughs> you're because you called me no, a liar no, and then you admitted it. Let don't, don't everybody cry, on camera see. Don't cry. Don't cry. I'm not a No, no, no. I'm not a dummy. I'm sorry. Don't cry. Don't. Apologize for saying don't I was a liar. Don't Apologize don't. for saying I'm a liar. Okay. I, look, I, I, what? Didn't he say I was a liar? Wait, wait, And then didn't he say that he went to stop it? Wait. Wait. You're a liar, Lamin. Wait, 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 and you call me a liar? What wait. audacity do you I, have? Exposed. You're a liar. I'm not your dummy. I'm not a dummy. No, don't, I'm don't sorry. Away. I'm no, sorry. Away. This you Islamic, this okay, Islamic put narrative the of calling people dummy put, put is context. rubbish. Put your I'm not a dummy. Don't think I'm your dummy and don't call me names. You, if you want to have a respectful no, dialogue, no, no, have no. a respectful dialogue. Look, okay, you, don't call me a liar. You, you, you admitted you on camera. You admitted on camera. You admitted on camera that you went off topic. scared. Why are you scared? Put it in the context. Don't tell me that I'm scared. You're scared. Please, you are scared. That's why you went off topic. Again, this now it is my three minutes. Please go, 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 keep quiet. Go, 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 go. It's my three minutes. Go, go. I'm challenging no, Laman. Talk, talk. I'm challenging Laman. I'm willing to debate this. But tell me <laughs> that you were wrong about saying Paul invented Christianity. Tell me that you were wrong. I will change the topic. Sorry. I will change the topic. If not, we are talking on this oh, okay, topic okay, okay. that Paul wait, wait. invented okay, Christianity. Okay, okay. I'm willing to okay, I'm willing to go to any other topic, Laman. Okay. But first, admit you are wrong in saying Paul invented Christianity. But so far, whatever you showed me, I have showed you from the Bible and from other places 
that it was already in existence. I don't need Paul to say to the, 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 the is gonna finish. He's finished. Yep. Paul is the father Done. of Christianity. Then you can go another hour and I quote verses from the Bible, Paul, and he will never find it in the writings of Jesus. No, 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 no. Okay, let me let me quote, let me quote. You said everything that Paul said, you can find it in the scripture. Is, is it mine? Yeah, you're, you're finished. No, no, I'm giving it to him. No, 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 Show me a verse why the disciples baptized in the name of the Father and the Word and the, and, and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Show me. He can't. Did they forget? He's sweating. When he say man, a man, a a big interpretation, exhibited fear. Look at him. You're sweating blood. You are. You are. You are. No, no, no. You are scared. Put it down. It's your turn. I'm trembling. No, no. Go, go. go. I give you forfeit my time. Go. I'm sweating. No. According to law, I'm sweating. No, no, no. Come and put the context. I'm waiting. We are waiting. Yeah. Is your turn? Okay, please, please stop. Okay. Again, about. I was very clear. Everybody on camera, what was the purpose of this debate? <laughs> what did we say that we will speak about? We see now who's sweating and who's running. Who's running? Who wants to change the topic? Please, everybody, who wants to change the topic? <laughs> Muslim brothers, who wants to change the topic? Am I changing the topic? Why do you want to change the topic? You can change the topic. Admit you are wrong. It's you. Admit you are wrong. You can't come in commission. I want the context. Lamin, 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 stop. No, 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 no. Come on, you're scared. It's my turn. It's my turn. I'm not scared. That's what I'm talking. I'm it's my turn. I will. I'm here for three hours. Go. Three hours. Go. I'm not going anywhere. Who wants to change the topic? Lamin wants to change the topic. Why does he want to change the topic? Because so far, whatever he brought has been refuted and he has no answer for it. Please answer according to what I've given you, Lamin. Let's refute the topic and I'll be happy to talk on another topic. Just like I challenged you earlier today, I am telling you, we will talk about Paul inventing Christianity. That's the topic. If we can stick to topic, when we'll go off topic is when you admit you were wrong. Well, why did you go off topic then? Done. Why did you call the Great Commission? Mama, look, I didn't, look, look, the cameras are here. They are not my channel. Huh? You quoted the Great Commission. I put the, you digress, not me. I challenge the cameras to put check. the original no, okay, topic. Okay. I want, I'm challenging I want the Muslim cameras I, I want, to put the original well, topic. I want, so we'll know who's want, saying look, what is right and what is wrong. Muslim channels, put the original okay, topic. No, 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 no. Okay, let's go about the original topic because you came up with the Great Commission. Yeah, he said Jesus instructed the disciples to go and baptize all nations. Now I try to put that into context, and you're panicking. I did not digress. Not. But why are you panicking? You said I'm, I'm, I'm digressing. Who digressed? You quoted that verse. Why didn't you stick to the fact? Why didn't you stick, st uh, stick to the topic at hand? Which is about, I said, Paul is the father of Christianity. Let's discuss that. But you instead, you go to Jesus as God. I found Omega. No, no, no. I found Omega. I didn't agree from the beginning. The viewers will see. He said, Jesus is God. You're following Jesus. He went to Alpha and Omega. And the Alpha and Omega in the, uh, uh, Revelation, he quoted other verses to say that Jesus is God. When the topic at hand was Paul, the father of Christianity. And then he went to the Great Commission. I'm the one. You digress, not me. So I said, Paul is the father of Christianity. And I stick with it. Yeah, 27 books of the New Testament. Paul wrote half of it. He took it away. No Christianity. When your crucifixion, resurrection is Paul. Paul is the one who said that. If Christ has a reason, your preaching is in vain and faith in vain. Paul said that. Show me a single verse in the Old Testament. Any other prophet who said this. And I challenge you. Because in book of, in John 5 46, John 5 46, Jesus said to the, to, to the Jews, if you believe Moses, you will believe me, for he wrote about me. If you believe Moses, you will believe me, for he wrote about me. I'm asking you, what did Moses write about Jesus? Did Moses say anything about crucifixion or resurrection? Did Moses say anything about the new covenant or the loving uh, abodies? Is Paul you are following? Show me anywhere. Paul is the one who came all, all this crap trap. No, in the Old Testament. You can show me. And you said it. Anything that Paul said, you can find in the scripture. Show me where, anywhere in the Bible. 
or even Jesus said, yeah, that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus the Lord, I believe in your heart, go to raise him from the dead, you'll be saved. Because according to you, Jesus came to die for the sin of mankind, past, present, and future. And it, it is because of what? The sin of Adam and Eve. Where? Paul. Paul is the one who said, Romans 5. I repeat again, Romans 5, 12. Wherefore as, by, wherefore, as by one man, sin entered into the world, and death by sin. And so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. Paul is the one you are following. Yeah, I mean, see, uh, that's the thing. I, I mean, uh, I'm done. We're going to go now because at the okay. moment now, okay. I think. Why did I quote the Great Commission? I think. I think. Okay, let me finish. Let me finish on this. Uh, why did I go to the Great Commission? Because I wanted to show finish. that the Great Commission was the institution of a new covenant. Because Jesus said to teach them, to do, teach them all the things that I commanded you. That's why I went to the Great Commission. I was not referring to the first part. However, Laman got hooked in the first part of the Great Commission. No, no, no. It's more important. Okay, the baptism. The first part is more important. I'm saying, no, I'm no. happy to talk about it no, 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 no. when Norman admits that he was wrong. Okay, now he, Norman is talking about. It's finished. No, I cannot. He, he's going to take Please, it's my turn. Stop, stop. Please. Norman again was talking about the death and resurrection of Jesus. Please, I don't need Paul to talk about the death and resurrection of Jesus. It's in all the Gospels, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The death and resurrection of Jesus is in all the Gospels. The book of Psalms, let me check the book of Psalms, where it talks about David prophesying about Jesus. He says that he will not allow your Holy One to see corruption. Who was he talking about? This very clearly says it was not about David, it was talking about Jesus. He will not allow Jesus to see corruption, therefore Jesus was raised. I don't need Paul to say that about uh, talk about the death and resurrection. I have the four gospel, I have the book of Psalms which says that he will not see corruption, he will not be in his grave, he will be resurrected. It's in the Old Testament. Therefore, Laman, I'm sorry, but you have to change your opinion because I don't need Paul for any of the doctrines that you have quoted, not even one. I challenge you, Laman, we can continue the discussion, but I can challenge you. Tell me one teaching of Paul, one teaching of Paul, which is not anywhere in the, else in the Bible. Paul just Academy, brought it so, together. So, Paul just so, brought it so, together. So, my turn, okay, my turn, my turn, so, I mean, Bible, my turn. Paul, which is, I gave you more than one hour. Until now, there's not even one teaching that you brought me, which I did not show you is elsewhere in the Bible. And you are yet to show me why Jesus accepted worship. You are yet to show me why Jesus said he's the Alpha and the Omega. You are yet to show me why you are circumcised. You are yet to show me what the Quran says about circumcision because it's not there. You do not know why you do circumcision. I can show you from the Bible, it is not for you. It is for the children of Abraham who inherit the land of Canaan, not for you. And I'm challenging you, Laman, and probably this can be our next debate. I'm challenging you. I'm challenging you. Show me from the Quran about circumcision. I'll take my shahada. Show me why you're circumcised according to the Quran. I will take my shahada. Today I will take my shahada. Thank you. You can't take it. Look, 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 listen. So, so I think look. Yeah. Yeah, no, this guy no, I, is sincere. No, no, way, no way. No way. Why should I accept Islam? Why should I accept Islam? What? How, why is it the truth? Prove to me it's the truth. Prove to me it's the truth. The problem, the problem is, you look. Paul, we all know Paul was the disciple of Jesus Christ. Paul never met Jesus. When Jesus taught his disciples for three and a half years, he never met up Paul. Paul is an imposter from the outset. Yeah. So you, you, you challenge me to show you a verse in no. the Bible. Muhammad was an okay, 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 okay. Muhammad was an imposter, okay, okay, okay. not Paul. I'm sorry. Because the example of Paul and the example of Muhammad, they are completely different. You're debating me. Me. No, he's telling okay, me. Okay, okay, listen to me. First of all, uh, the Great Commission, you fail miserably. You brought up the topic, yeah, and you fail miserable to bring miserably to put the context. Yeah. You agree with me? Yeah. No. Jesus said, go and baptize all nations. According to them. I quoted Matthew 15, 24. When Jesus said, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He said, No, no, no. Yeah, he was beginning, but in the end. After his resurrection, he now commanded the disciples to go and baptize all nations. He quoted Great Commission, which is in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 28, verse number 19, where Jesus said, therefore, go and baptize all nations in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the 
policemen are said to him, show me a single verse where any of the disciples baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Ghost. Instead, in the book of Acts, they baptized only in the name of Jesus Christ. Why? He started manifesting a perfect anger and trepidation. Now, you challenge me, let me quote you a verse from Paul. The Paul is saying, in the book of Philippians, Philippians 2.10. Philippians 2 can Paul said, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and on the earth. Show me any verse of the Bible. You challenge me. Where Jesus or disciples say anything in any way, shape, or form, or any, any of the prophets in the Old Testament that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and on the earth. Okay, show me. Because you said that show, for me to show you a verse in the Bible where Paul did not reference that. In the, in the scripture, I'm going to show you. Paul is an apostle. Show me now. I'm waiting. Philippians 2 can show me. Okay, yeah. And don't digress. You challenge me. Show me. Why did Paul got that from? Show me. Wait. Don't. Yeah. So that one minute left. Is uh, one, uh, one minute left. One minute left. Forty seconds. Forty seconds. Uh, Forty-three seconds. Forty-three seconds. You challenge me as a police and impostor. Now, Philippians two ten. Show me where the Paul get that from. Go in the Old Testament. Go. Don't digress. Oh, I'm going now. Yeah. Go. You challenge me. Yeah. So Laman Laman started off again by saying. Paul is an imposter. No, I'm sorry. If you say Paul is an imposter, you're giving me the license to say Muhammad was an imposter. That, that because Muhammad came. With, no, no, you say no, Paul no. is an imposter. I have every right to say Muhammad is an imposter because he came with a false gospel. He came with a false doctrine. He preached a false Jesus. Nothing of which matched the Bible. Therefore, he is the imposter. Now, let me show you about Paul. He said Paul never met Jesus. I'm sorry, Laman. Paul, please stop it. It's my turn. Don't interrupt. Please stop. Uh, I'll read from Acts chapter 9 verse 4 and he fell to the ground and heard a voice saying Saul Saul why do you persecute me and he said who are you Lord and he said I am Jesus the one you're persecuting I'm sorry Laman your case closed case closed wait, wait. Paul, stop, stop, he, stop, stop, doesn't run stop. away why why three minutes why? why is he coming in between no, 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 why? No, 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 pause pause stop. I'm sorry Laman pause, case pause. closed Paul did make Jesus pause. Yeah, I, Wait, Paul you? met Jesus. That's it. Lamin, I think it's time for you to resign and go home. Paul met Jesus. Sorry, brother, please allow me to speak. Don't, don't, don't. don't. Paul, met, not, Paul met Jesus. He asked, he gave me a challenge talking about. Can you pause it, please? Paul, carry on. Pause, pause. Uh, Paul never met Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, you go, you go. I finish with you, all of you. At the bottom, you go. Bring, so, bring Bob. Bob, Bob. I want Bob. You people, Bob, bring Bob. Bob scared of me. Yeah, Acts hey, hey. Acts nine. Yeah. Go, go, go. Acts nine. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. We're debating here. Okay, the only one that he brought up which is new, he said, Show me where, because at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus is God. That is Paul's teaching. I already showed you in the book of Matthew. Ma, I don't think you're listening, Laman. I showed you in the book of Matthew that knees bow to Jesus. Knees bow to Jesus and they confess that Jesus is God and Jesus accepted the worship. What more do you want me to show you? You want me to show you each and every verse? I will show you at no, least okay, okay, 10 okay. occasions. At least 10 occasions only in Matthew where Jesus, they bow down before Jesus, where knees bow down before Jesus and they confess that Jesus is God, uh, that Jesus is Lord. What more do you want? I'm done. Are you done? Are you done? Yeah. And he's trying to say, I'm wrong. Yeah. I'm done. You're refuted. You said, Paul, no, wait, wait, you wait, said, wait, you said, wait, yeah, no, no, it's still my time. You said, Paul, two things that you said. You said, Paul never met Jesus. I showed you Paul met Jesus. Very clearly, according to the Bible, Paul met Jesus. Please, can you listen to me? 
No, no, listen, no, no, no. listen, yeah, listen, 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 listen. Okay, listen. okay, okay, finish, finish. Don't run away. Don't run away. Don't I'm not running away. I'm giving you time. I'm giving you extra time, and no, no, you're telling me I'm running away. Don't tell me wrong things, okay? Don't tell me I'm a liar. Don't tell me I'm running away. I don't need you to tell me running away. Cameras can see whether I'm running away or not. They don't need your commentary because your commentary is wrong. No, talk. What do you mean talking like a woman? It's my turn. I can talk. You are not allowed to talk. No, brother, please, 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 pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. We are having a conversation no, no, no. here. Please do not come in between. We are having a respectful conversation. He's telling me I'm running away. I do not want all those dialogues because, yeah, I don't want one those dialogues because the cameras can see who's running away and who's not. All these tricks don't work with me. Yeah, okay. Two things which he said. Two things which he said. Both refuted. Paul didn't meet Jesus. Lies. Absolute bullshit. Okay. Paul met Jesus. I, I gave you the reference. I gave a quote of the verse. Paul met Jesus. Please don't. I'm not in a dream. Wait, 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 Physically, wait, wait. he met Jesus okay, and he okay. became blinded after seeing Jesus. Okay, wait, wait. Second, second reason. Sorry, if you want to come and debate me, I'm, I'm ready to do it later. But don't interrupt me. Don't wait, interrupt wait, 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 me. Please, the second please. thing. The second thing which he said that no, at Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue will confess. Please, please stop it. Please stop it. I'm talking to somebody. Uh, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus is God. I showed him in the, in the Gospels itself where people bow down and worship Jesus. What more do you want? Why should Paul come and say that? We already know that people did it and we know that it's a practice. That's what they will do. Thank you. Yeah, so okay, let's go now. Now, first of all, first of all, can we wrap up? We can continue. Paul never met Jesus. What's wrong with you people? Let, let me listen to me. I'm talking. The book of Acts, my brother, was written after Paul died. You know who wrote the book, the, the book of Acts? It was Luke. From the book of Romans to the book of Philemon. So me a single verse why Paul speaks about this dramatic encounter with Jesus on the road to Damascus. He's not there. After he died, Luke came and wrote it down. Paul, yeah, 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 there, show me. In fact, in, 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 if you read in, in the Gospels, in, in the Acts, Paul was, when Paul's apostleship was questioned, when he was in doubt, when people are questioning his apostleship, he was even saying, I'm not, I'm speaking the truth, I'm not lying. When he could have told them that, look, on the way to Damascus, I made a law and I spoke to him. Paul, several verses, I'll quote the verse to you. In the book of Romans, chapter number 9, verse number 1, Paul said, he said, I'm speaking the truth in Christ. I'm not lying. I'm an apostle. My conscience confirms this in the Holy Spirit. Nowhere in his epistles why he speaks about this dramatic encounter with Jesus. Not there, show me. Only in Acts, Acts was written after he died. It's a concoction. Because when Jesus told his disciples for three and a half years, he never mentioned Paul. Why did Jesus tell the apostles that after he left his world, a new man will come in? A new man called Saul or Paul. This man will be his 13th appointed apostle to the Gentiles. Why? Instead, you know, you know when Paul went to Damascus after his this dramatic encounter with Jesus, he went and prayed excessively. When he came to join the apostles, they rejected him. Why? Can I read it to you? Why did they reject him? Let me read it. Why did the apostles reject him? They said they were all afraid of him, that they didn't believe. They did not believe that he was an apostle. It was Barnabas who took him and made the apostle to persuade them. Why? I'm asking you. You can't show me a verse from a piece of Paul where Paul said that on the road of Damascus, he met Jesus. And there is a contradiction between Acts 9 and Acts 22. Acts 9 said they heard a, vo they heard a voice. Know you know it? Yep. 22 said they didn't hear any voice. That's what, is that a contradiction? Tell me. It's a contradiction. You want to read it? I'm sure you read it. You know? Yeah. One is a more detailed description than one, the other. One said the, the men that joined with him, two men, heard a voice. The other one said no, they didn't hear any voice. A contradiction. No. There you go. You read it? You're nodding your head. Did no, you read it? No, 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 you don't know, right? No, no. When you read it, you know that he's lying. Okay, okay, he's lying. You can read them, see. He's lying. Yeah. No, 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 no. Paul, tell me, I'm, I'm waiting for you to show me where in the epistle of Paul, anywhere, where Paul says, because he's defending his apostleship. I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. 
and the apostles of the Gentiles have uh, seen Jesus Christ, I spoke to the Lord. He said that, but he never narrated his story, that in the road to Damascus, he encountered Jesus. Because as said, we know that Paul, according to the Bible, he used to persecute the early followers of Jesus. Now, on the road to Damascus, according to Acts, Jesus spoke to him. And he went and preached excessively without having any contact with the apostles. That shows you that the man was fake. Now, if Paul was genuine, if, Jesus had, if it was true that Jesus spoke to him, he would have come to back to Jerusalem to contact the apostles. Tell them what happened. But instead, he went and preached his own gospel excessively. You know, Paul has his own gospel. That is why in, in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse number 8, he said, know that, know that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel. According to my gospel, Paul was preaching his own gospel. There you go. Show me. Exactly. He said he encountered Jesus. Show me. Because when Jesus was on earth, uh, he had 12 disciples. Paul was one of them. And when when uh, they, they had the who betrayed Jesus, when Jesus was betrayed, the, the many disciples had to cast uh, this thing a lot to appoint a new disciple to make it 12. Paul was in mention. They chose instead Matthias was chosen. Not Paul. The time is go, over. Go, go, go. That's the thing. No, I'm going to go because I'm tired. Now you can't prove anything. Yeah, tired. Yeah. I, I'm also no, tired. Go, go, yeah. But again, what is the start of the debate? What uh, was the debate that we agreed about? It's not addressing. I'm going now. See, it's not addressing. What go. did we agree so to I, agree I'm with I'm it on? Now. That's the thing. Does anything. everybody know you what we agreed? Please, Lamed, this is my turn. I'm going, go, I'm going. I'm finished. Yeah. I'm tired. What did we agree I'm to debate with? And what is he talking about? We are talking about Paul inventing Christianity. He's talking about Paul's conversion. And he's asking me to show where Paul talks about his conversion. For the, for the record, it is in the book of Galatians. But because I'm sticking, still sticking with the terms of the debate, which I'm not supposed to quote Paul, I am not going to Galatians. However, because I want to show that he's actually being disingenuous, Paul talks about his conversion in the book of Galatians. Be and again, the book, I'm not supposed to quote Paul. That is what the terms of the t debate were, that we will show that Christianity exists without Paul's books. Right? No, no, no. Lamin clearly no, is no, not said, able to no show me. Please, Lamin, yeah. allow me. No, allow no. me. Lamin clearly was not even able to show me one no, teaching no, no. of Paul which violated no, no. any of the other teachings. No, no, he's talking about Paul not being an apostle, being a fake no, no, no. apostle. He's actually talking about his own prophet who was a fake prophet who didn't meet Jesus, who didn't meet Allah, who met uh, some angel, we do not, some nameless angel, and therefore he is a fake, but not Paul. Paul brought punk. good news. Yes, Paul preached the good news. Debunked. Finish, go. Did I interrupt you? Did I interrupt you? Anyway, so let me wind up by saying up, I can clearly say Laman failed to produce even one teaching of Paul. Please stop. That's his mind. Let's stop. Uh, I don't know that one. Laman failed to produce even one teaching of Paul which is not in the Bible elsewhere. Therefore, I can conclude by saying Laman. Please come to Christ because you know that it is not Paul who invented Christianity. Read the four Gospels. You will have Christianity right there. Just from the book of John, we can establish Jesus' deity, Jesus' purpose, and Jesus the, 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 the death and resurrection of Jesus. And even Jesus accepting worship. Praise be to the Lord Jesus.